Hello my friends, it's Leanne Epp. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on this beautiful little dresser slash console table. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I just thought it was just a beautiful piece. I'm going to give it a good scrub and a fresh look, so stay tuned. As always, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that the first thing to do is remove all hardware, give everything a good clean, but most importantly is fix anything that needs fixing, like this drawer right here. I'm adding wood glue on the edge there, and I'll be putting in the bottom of the shelf just nice and secure, and uh, I will be putting wood glue on all the edges to make sure it does not come off again and I will secure the back of it with some painters tape overnight until everything dries so that um, it's nice and tight. There's my beautiful girl giving me a hand with the uh, cleaning. Addition to vacuuming all the dust and debris from the dresser, we also gave it a good scrub with crud cutter. Adding an additional extra uh, backing to the dresser. It, does, it has one, but it has some holes and just for extra uh, support, I'll be doing that. So I'm just measuring here and gonna be making uh, the cut. I'll secure it with wood glue and brat nails. So here I am starting to prime with a stain blocking primer. You do not necessarily have to prime when you are using chalk paint, but I have learned that it just kind of helps. So a quick first coat with the primer usually helps. I am now starting to give it its first coat of the chalk paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white. This is my first time using Rust-Oleum. It is a less expensive chalk paint. And to be honest with you, it was pretty nice. I liked it. It had really good coverage. Um, and when I did the distressing of it, it distressed beautifully. So thumbs up on the Rust-Oleum. And it's like I said, you can find it uh, at the hardware stores. You can even find it like um, and uh, anyways, it's just I really liked it, so I will be.
and my other little helper there helping me as well. So I am getting some yellowing as you can see. Even though I used a uh, stain blocking primer, I'm still getting some yellowing, which sometimes that happens, but <clears throat> you can see it right here. That's all yellowing. It's not everywhere, but it certainly is annoying because I'm getting some right there too. Um, but anyways, what I usually do is I spray it with some shellac, or sometimes I brush it on, but this is what I use. And I just spray it where it's yellowing, let it dry, and it dries pretty quickly, and then give it another coat. So let's see what happens. Now on to the distressing, which is my favorite part. I am using my electric sander in a 150 grit sandpaper. I'll be sanding the whole piece and giving it a heavy distress. As I've mentioned in other videos, when I distress, whether it's heavy or light, I like to focus on all of the edges and all the details of the piece, as you can see here. Give the hardware a quick coat of some um, spray paint just to give it a fresh look. I am now adding the first coat of the polycrylic to the entire thing. I normally do two coats on, on all the sides and then on the top I do three and sometimes even four. Um, but on this case I did do three and uh, just so that it's nice and durable and um, it All right guys, so here we are again. I just finished the first coat of polycrylic and uh, we are getting yellowing again. I don't know if you see it right there on the door and right around there. To say that I'm frustrated with this thing is to say the least, but it is what it is. I have gone through this before, so I am going to let the polycrylic acrylic dry and uh, do another coat of paint and hopefully not have to distress too much and then seal it again with polycrylic. So I am now patiently adding another coat of chalk paint and I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping this with the polycrylic and the shellac earlier that both of them will just keep it nice and white. All right, so thank the Lord, the painting is done. Now on to just some details. I always like to line the drawers if they are, especially if they're kind of dingy, and these drawers do have some wear and tear, so I am going to line them with some contact paper, and then I'll add the hardware, and then we'll be done.
look at this cutie. I love, love, love the way it turned out. Yes, it gave me a hard time, but it was so worth it. The distress is absolutely perfect on this piece. It just gives it that, you know, old looking, distressed looking piece that it naturally would have if it was white. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos. Beautiful, blessed day, everyone.